Hey gang, I decided to make some kind of like make a uh, kind of a technical update with computers. I got some computer news. Uh, first, I'm going to show you kind of like the, my history of the last few years. <laughs> what it looks like all this stuff here. Um, one of these computers I was using up until just a couple days ago, and but I bought a new computer with Windows 10, and I'll show you that. Uh, but I just want to show you what I what the old stuff I had for the last oh basically since like 2009. This is this is the one that I've been using. I actually bought this. This is a Vista. I actually bought this. It had Linux on it. I bought it off of eBay. But then I bought this was a few years ago. It was a media center computer because this one was a media center. This is one I bought new back in 2009. The, the only up to this point, the only computer I bought new, um, but I'll show you a little later the one, the, my latest one. But anyway, this one just recently I, I had working, and then I was like alternating. You still using this, and because I still have some video uh, clips in here that I wanted to make into videos and release. And then when I like plugged the things back in and powered it up because I only have one modem and, and I don't have like a a Wi-Fi network set in my apartment here. <laughs> but uh, I, I was having some kind of issues where I couldn't get Windows to load. Um, so I'm going to try to hook this one back up and this is kind of like my alternate command center here. <laughs> and see if I can you see what the problem was. Um, but this one was working. But, but knowing that Vista the extended support was not going to be was was going to be discontinued in, in like April of 2017. I knew I pretty much had to update to Windows 10, and I couldn't I couldn't update in this computer because it was Vista. Vista was just too old. But I, I I'm gonna miss Vista compared to what I've been I'm put, I've been learning Windows 10, and it's I don't know it just doesn't look as polished or whatever. And I was always I I always had these are pretty powerful computers so we could easily handle Vista. This one okay this is the one. The reason why I bought this one and a few years ago the motherboard something on the motherboard crapped out. And I took because I found that out and I took it to a uh, there's a place in this plaza that I live behind. It's called well it's called Milwaukee PC or whatever. But they couldn't find it. one day I, it wouldn't power up at all and and the, the guy couldn't really find anything he said it was something on the motherboard but then like a few years ago I actually ordered a new motherboard but I never got around to uh, um, installing it because I was kinda well I was a little intimidated because uh, I, I never you know done that before and this was this was a pretty expensive computer back in 2009 it was a, also a media center um, it had eight Back then, it had eight gigabytes of RAM, and it had a, a HD uh, video card, and it, it came with Vista um, on it. So, so I, that's the operating system I was used to. Um, I had bought this, and then when I bought this one, I bought I bought this monitor. This is a great monitor, but I decided to buy a bigger monitor and, and keep this with one of these as. Hopefully I'll get this. Uh, hopefully I'll replace the motherboard on this, and then I think what I'll do uh, in time I'll, I'll buy a copy of Windows 10 install copy, and then I'll uh, hopefully I get this one going as like my backup, and then maybe this one I'll eventually get rid of or something. But I'll, I'll, without any further ado, I'll show you my latest computer with the the new operating system Windows 10. By the way, here's a book. I, I, read, I found this book at my bookstore here. Nice thick book here. Missing Manual here for, by David Pogue. He's a pretty well-known author. And I've been going through this and, and like I said, I've been playing around with it and configuring it. And I just I just uh, added uh, or uh, plugged in three cameras and got the drivers and I even uh, uh, what, what, I, one, one is my camcorder, HD camcorder, and I was able to uh, up, upload uh, uh, my video. It, it was a Sony camcorder, and in, 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 in the uh, photos, they don't call it a photo gallery. They just call it photos now in Windows 10. 
but it takes those files those uh, Sony has what they call the AVCHD or whatever which is some called an M MTS or MT2S file and 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 uh, Windows photo photo app will will take those up uh, take those in so they don't have to be converted or nothing um, but I did have a I did have a Sony picture motion browser that I tried to get working I haven't really gotten that I got that loaded but I can't seem to get it to open <laughs> same thing with my Logitech uh, HD camcorder I haven't been able to get that to open um, here's another quickie this has nothing to do with what I'm talking about but here's another great bargain I found here's a, a Minolta Maxim EOS film camera with a with a kit lens here 35 to 70 lens for the princely sum of four dollars and ninety nine cents and uh, I, I'm pretty sure it works the battery I think was dead I took the battery out here's the battery but uh, another bargain there today but uh, without any further ado I'll show you the computer and I want to give you kind of like my review of, of how it's what I think of it so far so here it is and I bought the monitor just to show this monitor this is a 27 inch monitor and I, I bought it at one of the uh, big box electronics stores where I bought it online and now I, I bought it online and just had to pick it up locally so but uh, as you can see I got I got some stuff on there already some of my apps on there are loaded already um, this wireless keyboard and mouse were from my older computer that other one of those other ones although I ordered when I when I ordered this computer here it is it's a HP NV or whatever it's it's a pretty high-end uh, computer it only has like one one like uh, disk drive and there's one thing I can the hardware one thing I, I'm kind of like disappointed is the uh, this is this, this thing is kind of flimsy I mean see it just kind of like pops out a little bit it's not really motorized or nothing so you have to like press your disc carefully on it there and then just push that in there and th for things to start working there but uh, tech wise it's it, I guess it's pretty advanced it's uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's got a pretty hot video card um, I got two terabyte terabyte hard drive it, and uh, a nice thing about it like it has Windows 10 installed and but it, it has a separate uh, solid state uh, drive boot drive for for the operating system so that's the actual tower there um, this I just want to show you the webcam I have the Logitech webcam I can't really see it too well but uh, I've heard that Windows 10 there's been some compatibility issues with the Logitech webcams and I haven't been able to get mine to to I got the pro I got the stuff all downloaded and installed the software but somehow I can't get the thing to to open or turn on or whatever so that's an issue I have to think about there but other than that I like I said I've been learning I've been learning the operating system and uh, how things look and of course you know how window how uh, Microsoft they like to like when this is supposedly the last incarnation of Windows Windows 10 I mean they're just going to continually massage it or an update it or whatever but uh, you know they always like to change change uh, what do you say they want they change the way things look and they they change the names of things and you know they call things apps instead of programs now pretty much and uh, what else what else is different they they kinda hid the control panel so what I ended up doing is I I took I made a I made an icon for a control panel because I use that a lot um, but you can see the stuff I have installed there. Like here's the, the picture motion browser. The Sony, that's the disc that came with my Sony camcorder. Here's my editing program there, Pinnacle Studio. That's one of them, Pinnacle Studio there, and other stuff like that. Some. This oh, by this might be a good honorable mention. Um, most Windows 10 users probably know this that. Uh, as of now, as of now, they they haven't uh, 
Windows 10 doesn't have its own way of playing a DVD movie discs or whatever so you have to download you can download this VLC uh, media player for free but you but you gotta like install it carefully because um, you know they're not gonna just give you this for free the company that made this they wanna like add a lot of extra stuff there to try to you know get target you with advertising and stuff so you gotta like uninstall some things maybe um, run your virus scan and it wants to it leaves little cookies that want to put pop-ups and things on your script on your computer and stuff like that so I learned that but uh, anyway I gotta say though I'm having fun learning this new computer and uh, I still gotta get the want to get the old computer my old one hopefully back running because I did have some videos in there that I never really started editing and wanted to upload like three of them or whatever but uh, uh, that's kinda like my personal tech story here of uh, trying to keep up with technology so I hope you enjoyed this video and kinda like my little review of what I think of uh, Windows 10 so far uh, so with that I'll say goodbye for now bye